Hello and welcome back to Cape Trelawney, the new big map that we have now in N1800. And in this episode, we're going to finally start building something on this very, very beautiful main island here. And with, as you can see, a huge building area. I mean, those mountains in the background, they're real. So we can actually go all the way over there if we wanted to. Um, of course, we're not doing that. Per se, that would take quite a bit of time, but as we can see, those mountains are real and actually coming up here in the distance. Beautiful, I really love this map here. Okay, so something else. As we can see now on the world map, we have Cape Trelawney here as a new one. Let's go back to the world map and have a look there. So here we have Cape Trelawney now. Here we have the old world and here we have the new world. And something to do in the old world is finally we have some electricity again. So we are building some cargo ships here so I, I need to I need to reassign them here all the time now to those trading routes so Axum is one of my new cargo ships here I need to do that otherwise my city is going to collapse sooner or later and the next cargo ship on its way now producing something here so let's just do that real quick here some cargo ships and also also some oil tankers here two more let's just construct them and gather them up here so we can do that then Okay, Cape Trelawney. It's raining right now. Doesn't matter that much. And let's start with leadership. the first, the very first marketplace that we have here. So as you can see, that's the area. And what we need to do first, I'm going to activate the blueprint mode for this. So we have some, we have the main road here again. And just this time, I want to use, once again, my residences here so that we can measure the distance that we need for the marketplace so the marketplace is going to be here and then we have a street going up here let's have a look as you can see it reaches that area down here so that's the important one the important thing here so let's continue with that let's have the blocks of eight buildings here in cape trelawney crown falls and again this is going to be the main city here and then we're going to make some cozy beautiful looking some villages everywhere that's going to be fun and right i think this is working out so we could have the marketplace here that's going to work yeah very good and then we can have another one here just opposite of it perhaps we are going to have perhaps a block of six would be enough too or a block of three here because we can have a church here then at some point and then we continue all the way over there, like so. Let's have a look. This might be better, and I think it might even be better if we place it a bit more down here. To reach that area here, you know, otherwise we don't reach it quite as clearly. So I rather want to have it here. The same goes for this one here. Again, we don't need those marketplaces anymore later down the line, so we can remove them once we have uh, engineers upwards. And let's also have some blocks here. Again, they're not being built now. That's just the blueprint mode here. And he's not stopping buying shares of Salzburg. That's a bit annoying. I always need to go back to Salzburg there and buy it back. So he's already got two shares there again. Not something I like. Okay, and then we have the warehouse and the marketplace, and I can use those blocks here of six buildings each to... Oh, a competitor settled an island in Cape Trelawney. Competitors can settle here too in the world. That's new. I thought they can't do that. That's interesting. Anyway, we got the first buildings here, and I'm also going to start now building that market that we're a marketplace I here for real. Go to press. So we have that and then we just build the first pioneer buildings here as you can see. Doesn't, uh, indeed taste and yeah, we have a rum shortage. I already have new trade trips assigned for that. So let's just have a minus. Oh, we can't afford that. Minus 10. Yeah, that's possible. Let's just do it like that. Just I mean, you can't leave it unedited, of course. Okay, and my other ship, let's see, my Halibut. Let's send Halibut here now to Nate, because that is one of our quests that we have here. And as you can see, Nate is even selling us some stuff here, old Nate's Harbor. 
and also some special items. The new ones here, heat activated CTC grenade. Okay, I don't know if we need those items. Not yet anyway. Let's continue here with that. Okay, next up would be a timber production since we get the first workforce here now. For this reason, I'm going to get rid of that one here once again. So it's just a blueprint and I need to get some timber up here. We haven't gotten enough timber there. So I need to do it here, you know, having those. I do have the foundation here so we can just rebuild, rebuild it later then. So I can just have now a lumberjack hut here and a lumberjack hut here. And again, I'm going to delete them Welcome again. Just with Graveyard the next. The the okay, he sounds like a likable fella. And we what need to deliver 20,000 coins. I could, uh, lease you my to his harbor. Why do we need to do that? Immersion test. You have acquired a diving bell from old Nate. There's no way to know if the creaky prototype will hold up until you try it. Okay, so we need to pay 20,000 for that diving bell. Being a prototype, I will ask you to sign a waiver for your life before you use it. Okay, that's the, the diving bell, the salvager that we got out of that one here. And dive at the specif specified location. Okay, there it is. We need to send the salvager over there. This little ship there. Oh, it's quick. And let's use my bell cruiser there to purchase some timber. Very good. And let's get the timber over here. So actually, let's get rid of them again. That was just bad planning on my part here now. We don't need them. Once I have 10 timber, I can afford a warehouse over here. Or, yeah, probably over here. While the bell cruiser is on its way, let's use the diving bell. Okay, and we actually got something out of that and an achievement. Into the depths. And we got 20 tons of scrap out of this one here. Let's see what he says about that. The test dive went well enough, but the bell came up with nothing but worthless junk. Old Nate wouldn't mind though, he has a knack for finding value in everything. Bring the scrap to him and he may be able to make something useful out of it. That's the crafting that we are going to unlock here. Deliver five tons of scrap to his warehouse, to his lighthouse. That's what we're going to do. And we also got some new music in the background. Someone's whistling along. For action. And my Trying mighty battle cruiser is back in Crown Falls. Let's unload the 10 tons of timber. Nate has to wait. We definitely need that timber. And yeah, let's... Mm, oh, we can just do it as far away as possible, actually. There's lots of forest over here. Let's see, where do we have clay deposits? Over here, what's there? Iron, iron, coal, coal, iron, lots of resources there. So yeah, let's get one of the streets over here. And here we can actually start with that timber production. And it's also here that we're going to have the first little village. You know, that village is going to be built around those forests then. So we're going to have a small warehouse here. I don't need the blueprint mode now. And then we can have the lumberjack hut here. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to have four sawmills. Very good. And that's our very first production in Crown Falls. And of course, theoretically they need workforce and we can't of course have them commute my poor farmers from down here, up there. So we're going to make a small village here once we have the timber for that here, overlooking the valley. The first village that we're going to have. Meanwhile, let's go back to old Nate. Dug up more than bones. 
Not half bad, eh? I can turn around your junk so long as I get to keep the odd smidge of gin. Very good. And he's got now the scrap, and we actually get something out of it. Little Mac and eight. Tired of coming back up with nothing but scrap. I can point you to the good stuff for a reasonable fee. Alright, he wants more money from us. X marks the spot, and as we can see, we can equip those items now here in our salvager and use them. So salvage scrap amount is plus 10% that we get out of this one. So every time we use the dive, we can get 10% more salvage out of this one here. Watch Let's give him the money. Old Nate has given you the coordinates for promising diving spot sale. Your salvager there, it's as good a spot as any to start looking for the scepter of Capon. So that's the scepter that we need to find during this campaign. And it's over there as far as I can see. So let's get over there with the uh, salvager. And while that is happening, I have an idle battle cruiser. So let's send this battle cruiser there on some scouting. On its way now. And as you can see, we're also getting the first timber in here now. It's taking a while before production is actually working. We still need to plant some forests here. Only this one is working so far. But I don't mind. You know, we can take our time this time. We know what's awaiting us. And look at that. That view. Absolutely amazing. I love it. I love those mountains. Beautiful weather here. Here we have the first warehouse now up and running. And this is the place where we're going to have a small cozy little village just up here. And when we walk, when we continue walking on that street here on this little forest path, we can actually then have a breathtaking view of the valley and the islands behind that. Amazing, right? That is amazing. I love this game, especially that first person camera. Best feature in Anno for quite some time. Okay, the salvage is also exploring some new islands here. So this one here. Actually, what do we have fertility-wise in Crown Falls? Nothing, it seems. Oh, yeah. We have we actually have a lot. Um, right now, we don't have any windows and reinforced concrete. But uh, fertility-wise, we have the potato, the grain... The hops and the grapes, so good for champagne, good for beer, bread, potato for schnapps. And look at that, the materials that we have, the minerals. We've got nine iron deposits on this island, six coal deposits, that's a lot. And zinc and copper, we never need that much. Some oil, but not much. Are starting to get sick. Okay, so lots of things that we have here, and oh... I see we are not the first to pay old Nate for these clothes. New orders? I only hope we're the first to find what's down there. What's going on here? I am Vasco Alivairo. I conduct the solemn and discreet business of none other than King Juau of Akaroa. That's La Corona to the place. We have come only to pay our respects beside the grave of a once great warrior. It's obvious why they're here. It's the same reason we're here. For the emblematic power that scepter will grant to whoever owns it. But we can't afford a war with La Corona feeble though they may be, so I'm afraid you'll have to rely on wits to beat this Olivira to it. Ceasefire has ended. Okay, so at least it's no war yet. He's sailing away again. Definitely means trouble though. And I think he's the competitor that settled here. Because the old AI, like the Admiral, he's not going to settle here, as far as I know. And let's go here to that location and dive once again. Can I activate this one here? 
Yes. Your people are healthy again. This is the journal of my father's strategist, Nadeski. This waterlogged log is in a terrible state. Did you not bring any art restorers with you? Room to maneuver. He may have been on the winning side, but father always said Admiral Nadaski's carelessness had meant the scepter being lost to the waves. All right, so we got that one, that manual or Behold that us. item there, Nadaski's journal, but it's unreadable so far. We need 500 artisans for that. In Crown Falls, so that's what we need to reach before we can continue with the next step. Here now, a small island. Let's see where else we can go. There are some ships over there. There's another island here. Let's go over there. And yep, we do have more timber now. So it's starting. The production. Everything's running here now. Let's go back in the meantime to the old world because I want to reassign still those ships there. We got one more. Unfortunately, only one more. But the next one is already being finished as we speak. And we also have now, yeah, Magwitch with uh, building materials there. So I don't even think we ne we'll need Magwitch. We got lots of islands there in the in, in Trelawney. So that's not something that I probably will need, but at least we have it this at our disposal. And oh, we have a visitor here as well. Elliot Blitz, the security engineer. Ship constructed. What's that good for, that Elliot? I think I've lost him. I think I've lost Elliot there. No, there he is. Affects the happiness of 10. Plus 10. Chance of fire minus 20. Rights and illness minus 20%. Ah, sounds like a good idea to have him then. And we have two cargo ships now. Let's reassign them. Kauchuk. Yeah, we need them for the bicycles. Let's have one there and let's have one there for the cigars. Of course, we need actually several of each. Uh, several ships on each trade route. But right now, I just want to have at least one everywhere. So we at least have the basic resources again. Let's go back to Cape Trelawney. Lots of timber now. And yeah, it is here that I want to have my... A smaller village now so we have let's see a road here and let's make it a main road so that we can actually see that it's a main road and this is where we are going to have a smaller settlement so we have a marketplace here Because, of course, we need those double roads because we want to have a track there as well then along along those roads there. A railway for later. Right, and here we can have now some several new farmers. So in this case, block of three should be perfectly fine there. You steam ahead. Go on, mate. Diving bell quest. Okay. Go then. I've got stuff to do. This, you'll be getting any more. this is where we're going to have a smaller village there. Perhaps another house here, another house here. If it please an all-powerful deity to place me on the throne. Oh, lots of quests there. You. Okay, first things first. Vulture I view. Old Nate has found another promising spot for you to scan with the echo sounder. Up, up. And away from the action, as usual, he saw no reason to get involved until the fighting was over. While not unsympathetic towards the rebel cause, he sees no reason not to loot their ship now it's good and sunk. Okay, the ship has been sunk, and we need to send our salvager to the location, which is where? Reach the diving spot using the echo locator. Do we need to buy something for that? Echo locator. Oh, 
there, there are some treasure hunts here that we can do. We can actually buy a map of a sunken royal clipper and go there and see what's behind it. Let's do that too. Let's buy this map. Ship shape. Okay, so that's where a treasure might be. But that is on land as far as I can see. It looks like... Do we have something like that? No, we haven't found an island that looks like that. So we just need to, to wait a bit there. But where is the location? It doesn't show me that on the map. Obtain an item with an echo location from old Nate and activate it. Okay, so we definitely need to do something. We have transmute. I think this is where we need to do that, right? We have this... Uh, Salvage the scrap resources and here we can have yeah as you can see some of those items actually then have Increased chance of finding rarity That's the one echo location so for this one here we need sand and iron for this Item here, which is a bit strange. I don't have any of that and not anytime soon. I do have the scraps though Constructed. Okay, there's nothing else here that would re uh, that would give me the echo. Workforce so it's probably a good idea to send a ship here with iron and sand. Or do we have some item here that has echo? Not as far as I can see. Oh, that's a legendary map here. Oh, he actually has some iron there. So we only need some sand. And I think sand, can we actually have that already? I think we can. Yeah, it just needs some timber and bricks and some farmers so we can actually produce the sand of our own. And that's what we are going to do now. Very good. So we have the iron already and we are going to have the sand soon and then we can purchase, or we can craft this one here. The echo chamber, the echo locator. Very good, that's what we're going to do. And open the map, yeah. This island we haven't, oh, this one looks pretty similar to that. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the island. So here we have, dive at the location. So it should be somewhere here where we need to dive. I like that, I like those quests actually. So we need to dive for that to find some items and some rewards. All right. And right, we already have the first sand here. I think we need 10 tons or five tons, doesn't matter. It's pretty fast, so we'll have that soon enough. And let's continue here. Let's continue building here the small village there. So we have that and let's have some more houses here. So, by the way, I know I'm not going for the optimal thing here. I want to, to make up a few more chaotic looking villages, you know, not everything needs to be optimized 100%, like our main city. So, we're just going to have some smaller villages here. And of course, we're going to have some smaller parks here then as well from time to time. Right now, let's just have a few more buildings here. Oops, perhaps not that many on one side. Oh yeah, actually, let's, have, let's just have here a full block of them. So that's a smaller village now. And they just, you know, work here. In our mind, they just work there. Right. How much sand do we have? We really need to check on that. Six tons, perfect. So soon we have enough. And right, I can also continue building more buildings here in our optimal city, of course. So this is going to be an optimized version. And here I need to rebuild those blocks again. Okay. 
And this time we're going to have many more parks there as well, of course. Since I really like that approach in Salzburg. And we're going to use that here as well. Three more tons of sand. That's what we can have there. And my battle cruiser. There is another island over there. Let's go for that. Perfect. And then we can just continue having a few more villages here. Of course, we want to reach those 500 artisans. And we can actually do that on one island because we've got everything we need for artisans on this island. If we want to go that road, I rather want to have several islands there and just, you know, transport that over there then. Okay, eight tons, so soon. And in a newspaper, let's have the minus 10% consumption there once again. Another block of buildings over there and probably will need, hmm, let's see. This one's pretty full now, right? Probably will need another wood production as well, since I want to produce much more timber. And they're just looking down then on the valley and here we're going to have some apple trees in between, perhaps even a little well here and there. Just to make it a really nice little cozy village with those beautiful graphics. A little well there, perhaps something over here, another well here. Some apple trees. Where they harvest their apples. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. The first little village is starting to look like something. And also some trees here perhaps. I like it that money is not a problem anymore. You know. So we, we have that behind us now. We have two more cargo ships there. Ready. So we can reassign them. Gold. We definitely want to have one here on the gold. And let's see, Pearl looks good. So I think we've got all the trade routes now covered again. There's still one here. Dry Plantain. And now we've got all the trade routes covered again with um, cargo ships. This one here is still missing. And then we can reassign something for the oil as well. So, right, let's also build another four cargo ships here. That's just a matter of time now, but it's starting to, to work again, the whole thing after the war against the Anarchist. And Cape Trelawney, of course, is what's awaiting us this time. And right, we do have enough sand now. I'm pretty sure of that. So let's get the sand there, as you can see. 17 tons. Let's get back to Nate, buy the Echo thing, and dive once again. See you in the next episode.